hey beautiful people welcome and welcome back again to the channel it's there here and i am your captain wow guys today i bring you tips on how you can secure your apartment your house here in australia most especially here in sydney okay so i got my apartment my permanent apartment in one week after relocating here in sydney and today i'm going to be sharing with you the tips i used that helped me and also some of my friends tip that helped them so i'm going to be giving you a lot of tips okay make sure you stay put and let's get straight into the video I wanna flex my I wanna the first thing i want you to know is have an idea of where exactly in australia you want to stay um, especially if you have a job you want to make sure you get a house or an accommodation very close to your workplace if it's not close but at least one or two bus ride to your workplace especially if you know you're not going to be driving okay make sure that it is close to public transportation so make sure it is close to shops so you can easily just walk or you can easily just take one or two bus ride to that location okay so tips on how you can get your accommodation first thing first i want you to download apps like domain and also real estate i feel like i've talked about these two apps for a long time but guys it is the truth okay download these apps make sure you put all your information before coming okay this is even before you come to australia so when you download the domain app and the real estate app you are going to be able to set up your profile when i say set up your profile you need to put all your details you need to get your references okay yes if you have the app you can start requesting for references okay set up a profile put all your information all the information they need get your references i actually make sure i got my references from my landlord in the uk before leaving the uk if you know what i mean so if you are in any country make sure you get your references from your previous landlord this is going to set the pace for you because bear in mind that you're coming into a new country they don't know you they don't have your credit history and the good thing is here in australia they don't even look at your credit profile okay so they didn't even ask me about my credit profile so you need to make sure that you have things like that make sure you have your bank statement they want to see your bank statement on your profile as well and if you don't feel safe to upload it just make sure you have it with you so that your landlord to be get to ask you for that you already have it in your hand because they will definitely ask you for your bank statement you want to get employer reference ready as well i make sure i got my employer reference ready if you can get all of these on paper upload it to your real estate profile or your domain profile so that when you go for your viewings your landlord already have all your details ready so you don't have to request for references every time you go view a particular house okay the references are just in your profile any landlord that wants to accept you already have these things it will definitely save you time from requesting for references it will also make your prospective landlord know that you are very ready it just makes you more organized that you have all your details ready on your domain or your real estate profile okay so this is not an advert but yeah it, it did work for me okay so the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you book a viewings ahead of your travel date okay so i wouldn't advise you to book viewings longer period i would say if you're coming in book your viewings like a day before you come or two days before you come because the viewings really get sold out or sometimes like what happened to me is when i got to australia the house i booked to view the day i arrived because i arrived in the morning i booked for viewing in the afternoon by the time i got here they've already taken the house okay so i advise you to book a day or at most two book views ahead so that you have them lined up for the week you arrive australia now i want you to know that it is much more preferable to book your viewings close to each other so say, take for example what i did was i booked for a viewing 12 the next one walking distance was 12 30 the next walking distance was like one o'clock you know 1 15 and i made sure i made the viewings to be around that same area so that one i save money on transportation two i can easily just walk talking about walking the housing crisis right now in sydney i don't know for every other city but here in sydney it is really 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 hard it is very difficult like a lot of people can come to view a house particularly and you need to be on time because they put time slot listen every day i come back from viewing i was very very tired i needed a massage every time 
I walked sometimes, I had my, my pants was torn. I even made a video and people were laughing at me. Yes, it is very hard. So I had to be walking around a particular place viewing different houses and that is why I recommend you have a massage gun. This company is owned by very experienced physiotherapists and they help you stay fit. They reduce pain and sores that you can get from walking. Stressful days, especially for nurses, haven't been active for long hours. You can tell you'll be very, very tired, okay? So you definitely need something to make you calm after a day's job. Especially when I came back from viewing the houses, oh my God, I felt like after having a shower, all I needed was a massage because my legs were aching, okay? But yes, this massage gun would definitely be useful. I'm going to show you how it works. So it does help relieve pain. It helps circulation as well. And it does help you to feel ready for the next day because trust me viewing houses here in australia isn't for the week so you definitely need something to keep you energetic and i wish i had this before coming but it would still serve me okay it will still deliver worldwide and they can deliver to your doorstep you see how portable it is okay so yeah i do recommend this i've always wanted to get this okay thank you so much bob and brand for sending me this amazing gift the next tip I'm going to give you is to make sure that you book private viewings. So private viewings here are definitely sometimes the best way to get your own house, okay? And this is because the landlord or the agent focuses on only you. Private viewings are one of the best ways to get your apartment. After searching for houses, you definitely need to have this. So I'm going to just turn it on. So here's the charger. And guess what guys, it's very very cheap. It has different different types, okay? So ranging from 80 pound, 90 pound, 100 pound. Can you hear it? Ooh. Ah. Guys, this is so relaxing. I'm not even kidding. You can you can feel the vibration. And it's not like so loud. Do you know how much ma massage session costs? If you know me, you know I always book for massage. Having this at home will reduce my um, massage session. I mean, you can't take out the fact that you still need a hand on you once in a while. But this will just alternate it. You can also increase the frequency depending on the intensity you want it to be. Make sure you copy yours. Link in my description box. So let's continue with the tips. Learn to sell yourself, okay? Bear in mind that there are lots of people applying for this particular property or this apartment you are going to see. Make sure you sell yourself like personally what I did was I made sure I explained that I have my job because they do give preference to someone that has a full-time job okay I had a full-time job I showed them my contract my employment contract I showed them my bank statements I showed them literally everything they would need to see okay so these things helped me I also showed them my previous lease agreement in the UK on how and also how I've been paying all my rent without missing any day so these things also helped me so make sure you like sell yourself like it's an interview because the best person is going to win also after inspection if you go for a public inspection where there are other people try and be the last person to leave that property so it creates a lasting impression about you to the either the agent or the landlord depending on who comes to show you around the house also make sure you send in your application as quickly as you leave the property that just shows them that you are very very interested and don't forget you already have set up your account which just makes them feel like okay you have everything tick 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 they offer you the property so this tip i don't really recommend it but it has worked for some people so if you don't mind you can do it another thing you can do to help you get apartment very quick is to offer the landlord something above the price that has been set for the house so take for example if the house is going for 450 dollar per week you can offer the landlord or the house agent 470 or 460 okay just something above what the landlord or the agent is asking you like i said i don't recommend this because then it might be above your budget okay so if you don't mind a few more dollars per week that's fine but i didn't do that and i still got my apartment so i'll say only do this as a last resort if it is very very difficult for you to get because who doesn't want more money Definitely not house agents or landlords. They do want more money and if you are offering them more, of course they will give you the house.
Another important tip I'm going to give to you is to try and be flexible. While I was checking for apartment, I did have the particular taste that I wanted. I was still a bit flexible with what I can put up with or what I cannot put up with, okay? So if you're more flexible, you're more likely to get an apartment quicker than if you're just fixed on having all the things you want, okay? So while I was searching for a house, I wanted something fully furnished. However, when I got this one, um, it wasn't fully furnished. Most apartments I went to see, some of them are fully furnished, some are not fully furnished. It was really difficult to see a fully furnished house that I liked to my taste. So when I got this one, it's not fully furnished. It only came with the fridge, came with the washing machine, it came with the dryer, came with an oven and that was it. Um, it didn't come with the couch, it didn't come with TV, it didn't come with bed. Like a lot of things that it didn't come in with. Which wasn't what I wanted to be honest. I wanted something fully furnished so I just packed my bag and I'm in and everything I need is in the house. But it wasn't so here so I was a bit flexible. I was like okay that's fine. Um, I like the house. That's the most important thing. I'm going to decorate it to my taste. And yeah that's how I got this place. Alright so bear in mind that the housing market isn't the one you'll be so selective. Yes have your taste but please give room for some adjustment okay. Otherwise you end up staying and searching for house for a long time. There's a lady I met and she was like, she's been searching for house for almost six months. A lot of people have been searching and searching and I don't know why they're not getting it, but if you are a bit flexible, you would see something really quick, especially if it's your first time because you really need to have an Australian history of rent to help you, be you get a better house after a while. So yeah, hopefully these few points will help you secure your apartment. Let me know in your comment section when you're coming. And also let me know if you have been having any issues getting a house. Also, if you've just moved in and you have tips that is going to help other people, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'm going to see you guys in the comment section. Make sure you drop a love. Make sure you drop something so we can have a chit chat. I'm going to see you guys later.